Hey, what's up? Robert here from Robert's Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to create a cool looking grainy effect to your layers in Photoshop. So, the first thing I'm going to do is add a layer mask to the layer I want to have the grain. I can do that by going down and clicking the Add Layer Mask button. Now, we're going to add a filter to this layer mask, so make sure that's selected and go to Filter, Texture, Texturizer. Like, generalize, like, what is it? I don't remember. Texture, make sure that's set to sandstone. Scaling, make it as big as you want. The relief at around 40. And I'll leave the light at top right. Click OK. Energizer, that's what it is. Now I want to show you that because this is on a layer mask, it's going to be transparent. So let me make my background visible. And there you can see it's transparent. But I think it's a little bit too intense. So I'm going to decrease intensity by going to image adjustments, levels. Now I'm going to bring these levels down just a little bit to try to decrease the intensity of those that little the little grain. Click OK. And now I want to change the color. So before I change the color, make sure that you select the layer and uh, get off of the layer mask. Don't select the layer mask, select the layer. Choose your color and make sure that you lock transparent pixels. Then you can hit Alt Delete on your keyboard or Option Delete if you're on a Mac and your colors changed. Now I'm going to make the background visible which is cardboard and change the blending mode from normal to multiply. That looks a little bit more real so now I'm going to actually hit Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac. Scale it down, rotate it, stroke it, oh don't do that and uh, just hit enter and there you have your nice cool looking stamp you can use your imagination on this it's kinda cool you can add like uh, cardboard text in videos uh, you know it's kind of a cool feature that you can use oh I want to show you something too I was surfing the interwebs and I found for the most comfortable and closest shave I would recommend first using a rotary electric shaver in the shower. Keywords, electric, shower. Those two don't, can't, they can't go together in a sentence. What is this? Okay, what are you doing? Oh, I'm shaving in the shower with my electric shaver. Oh, what'd you do? Get electric. And check this out. The above was recommended to me by my barber. So what kind of barber is that? So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care. Oh, my monitors fell asleep. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no. It's dark. Help.